All right, guys, so we have the teriyaki burger right here. <laughs> yo. Yo, 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 yo. First impressions are not it. It's all you, bro. Go just take a bite, bro. Okay, what do you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? 2. Wait, really? I just don't like burgers. I feel like... Oh. I guess that's all the food. A couple of fries. If we're going to McDonald's in Japan, these fries are so ass. <laughs> I was just about to say. Okay, we're at an airport though, so like, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. The cheat, the teriyaki burger actually kind of tastes good though, Loki. It's like 8 out of 10. Alright, the next one we're going to try is the filet fish one. Oh. oh. It is not the flavor fish, guys. It's the shrimp one. You can try that. What is that? Wait, is that shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> it's a shrimp burger. I actually sure like that. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm I'm surprised you were able to guess that. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, guys. What we're eating. Actually, I should drop some questions for us to answer down below. The first one says, where are you from? I'm from China. I'm, I'm like half Chinese and half white. I'm from Japan. I'm from Okinawa, Japan. Because I was born on a military base, but I stay in California. What curly hair products do you use? Wait, do you even use products? No, I don't use products. I don't use hair products. All right, so the hair product I use is, is a coconut flavor or whatever, but the brand is in a purple shampoo thing. But I only so get like the conditioner. I think it's called Aussie, Aussie something or whatever, but that's what I use. Where's it from? I get it at like Target or like Walmart though. Someone says, what are you doing right now? And how are you? Where are we currently at? We're in Japan, Tokyo, airport. We're about to go back home to the States. So by the time you guys are watching this, we're already back and we would have already gone to the farm. All right, honestly, the trip is probably like a nine and a half out of 10, maybe, maybe 10 out of 10. But the, the only thing is we didn't get to go to uh, Fuji Key, which was like a place I wanted to go, but it was just so hot. Like there's just no way it was gonna work. Yeah, I would rate the trip like a 10 out of 10. I was telling Sky this like, every time I come back home from like a fun trip, I always have like depression after, like not depression, but just like, I'm just like missing it. I feel like you guys can relate to that. Like when you just have like do something really fun and you start thinking about it like a week after. Or like or like you just like go out with your friends for a night. Like if you guys don't really go out and then you're able to go out with friends or do something fun or like go bowling or something like that. Something that you consider fun and then you go back home and then you do nothing again. Like it's kind of like that, you know? Do you live a busy life? I don't think so. I live a good trip. I don't really go out like when I'm home. I guess I just like go on a lot of trips. Like I'm always on a trip every month. Like at least one. Take me through a day-to-day -day life, like a day in the life. What would you do? I wake up, I eat, I poop, I shower, I go out with friends, come back, sleep. Wait, so I would do friends on day? No, like sometimes I go on my computer, do some work. You gotta try this out, bro. This samurai burger looks like What is that? Samurai burger. Samurai burger? I'm kidding. It, it tastes like too, too salty or pepper or something. So just send me up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie guys, I give that samurai burger like a five. I don't know what the flavor is, but it's too much of whatever sauce they have. But that's actually really good for you. Nice burger. That was better than teriyaki burger. Yeah. Would you ever come to England? I actually was planning to go to Europe in January until February, but I mean January until March. But basically, me and a couple of my friends, if you guys don't already know, Risk Crib is moving to Australia in November. A few of us. And so because of that, we call it off the Europe trip until next um, winter. Next winter, expect us to be in Europe. If you guys want to say what's up, we post like meeting greet dates. Who are you dating? I'm not dating anyone right now. I'm single as a Pringle. I'm just vibing, chilling. Who's your childhood crush? Celebrity crush. My childhood crush was Megan Fox. While we're on the topic of crushes, like, what is your like type? Like, what do you look for? Um, honestly, I feel like she just has to have, like, obviously she has to be attractive, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not, like, you know, uh... If I was a girl, would you date blue or an ass girl? I really don't care. But, like, you can't lie. Like, you gotta be honest. Like, communication has to be good. Yeah, so, so, like... Like, you look, you gotta be, like, kind of obsessive, you know? I like my girls obsessive if, if I, like, love them. If I was a girl, would you date me? No, because you're not obsessive over me. Someone asked, are you and Ash are close? We're really close. We're, like, talking. Dating. Yeah. Just okay. kidding. On a real note though, um, I think I've been mutual with Ash for like, I think like almost a year or over a year. Something like that. Either close to a year or over a year. But like, we met for the first time at Playlist last year. Just to say like, what's up? Hi. Okay. okay. What was like your first impressions of me? Like you saw me online. Like, you're like, who is this random dude? Like, oh yeah, why did you follow me? 
Oh, I think I followed you because of a dance that I did. But yeah, so like I would say that he did dances or like sometimes he did trends. I started doing a lot of those, so I was like, oh, okay, I might as well follow him. So I followed him. Uh, first initial like thoughts in person in person though. I love he thought he was like a like a K-pop type of dude. I'm like, I thought like he would have had like a big ego on the web. But, like you didn't. Like I play this. You like hella chill. You like oh what's up? How are you? Da -da -da. And you like introduce me to like all your friends or whatever that, that were like there. And then at VidCon when like, we hung out, it was like the same kind of vibes. It was chill. And then he was like in the, he he was inside of my car because we had to go get his um his little tag thing. Oh yeah, and wait, I did too. Wait, what you what you think what you what you think of like when I was in school? I thought that Asher was like kinda awkward. Cause you just weren't talking at all. Like he was just in the backseat just like chilling, like on his phone a little. So like damn, I would be like it's cool. Like I would be chill. My first opinion is real, to be honest. I don't really like you. I'm just kidding. I thought you were pretty chill, like like when I first saw you like following me, I was like, oh why is this happening? I was like, wow, okay. And then I followed that. And then you like messaged me if I was at Ellis. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Like, let me say hi. And then, yeah, I don't oh, really yeah. have too much of a question after that. We didn't, we didn't even, like, actually, like, schedule to meet up. We were just like, oh, are you a player? So, like, yeah, we're a player. So, I'm like, oh, like, we should hang. But we should end up running into each other. All right, what are your thoughts on me now? I don't know. I definitely got, like, closer with you. I feel like he's a really genuine person. Like, sometimes through social media, like, you don't, you can't really tell, like, a person's personality. I'm glad I, I'm glad I know you, like, better now. Yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, like, if we probably didn't have this trip, well, I still would've hung out with you, but, like, I don't know, like, it probably wouldn't, like, been, like, a little awkward, like, the first couple times we hung out. Because, like, also, like, I don't like to, like, hit up people to, like, just collab, like, I, like, want to make, like, genuine friendships. So, like, basically, that yeah, material right there. Because I don't like forming, like, friendships with people who I don't think, like, I'd actually be friends friends with. Like doing collabs and stuff. This trip like really allowed me to like get closer to Asher and like have like some like a few, really like, really close. Okay, but like basically get to know each other better, like on a friend level. Impressions now of Asher, really chill, really chill. I'm actually gonna take him to Nasby Farm. Well, he's gonna pay for his admission, but I'm gonna pay for his fast pass. No, it's because it was his birthday and I didn't get to hang out with him for his birthday. So we're gonna go to Nasby Farms. Regardless, we're gonna hang out. So. What's your favorite song at the moment? Sex is Total. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have like a, I never always have like a favorite song. I always have like a playlist. I have like a favorite artist. So right now my top three artists is, wait, I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. Anio AA, it's a Spanish artist, and then Taylor Swift, and then Destroy Love. My top three artists, The Weeknd, Secrets After Sex, Drake. That's gonna wrap up the video. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys smash the like and comment down below. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, we're wearing Asher's uh, brand shirt. So it's gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna cop a shirt. Anyways, with that being said, Asher's channel is gonna be linked down below. Make sure you guys go check him out. Like, comment, subscribe, and with that, see you guys next time. Peace. With that being said, peace.